Because right now, we are literally like five subscribers away from 70,000 subscribers. We kicked off this video deal about nine months and one day ago, believe it or not. So that was one good thing to come out of the pandemic. It resulted in this, if you're a video fan. But after nine months, almost 70,000 subscribers. So a big thank you. But if you haven't subscribed yet, go up and do it. Totally free. We can hit that big 70K. Then we will move to 100K. And I will get that big YouTube plaque. I'll put it right there where the Intercontinental Championship currently is. And brag incessantly here on this program. Unlike, however, WWE, which cannot be bragging about these Raw ratings on Monday night. Are you aware, everybody, that football season has ended? The Royal yeah. Rumble was a week ago. We are on the road to WrestleMania, and somehow this show did the lowest number of the year. This show was doing better when there were 17 million people watching football games. 1.72 million viewers. 0.49 in 18 to 49. The lowest that Raw has done against non-football competition, expect, except when they were back doing shows at the Performance Center before the Thunderdome. They were still first on cable. They beat Below Deck on Bravo, which did a 0.44 in 18 to 49. So at this rate of decline, they will soon be losing to Below Deck. Raw was 19th overall which is better than a recent normal because news was down and fewer people were watching cable. First, a third hour drop was a little bigger than in most recent weeks, which does speak to the staying power of the Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton main event. It was a huge drop in women. Are you ready for this, everybody? Last few weeks now, there's been a huge drop in women while men and boys did great as far as sticking with the show. So there's something that's happened over the last month that has caused old men and teenagers to watch Raw and women to quit. Hmm. Raw was going to drop from last Monday, since last week was the show after the Royal Rumble. Declines were 9% in viewers, 16% in 18 to 49, 12% in 18 to 34. Compared to a year ago, the declines were 27% in viewers, 39% in 18 to 49, 45% in 18 to 34 against weaker competition. The first to third hour drops 40% in women 18 to 49 which is nearly unheard of. Men 18 to 49 only fell 5%. Teenage girls dropped 20%. Teenage boys gained 27%. Over 50 fell a normal 10%. What could they have done recently that has caused old men and teenage boys to stick with the show, but has caused 40% of the women to turn off the show. Hmm. Could it be a grown woman dressed as a schoolgirl, pretending that she's 11 on a playground? Could that be it? Well, I don't know, but that's what I would... That's what I would deduce from these numbers. Maybe I'm wrong, but... 1.82 million in the first hour, 1.74 million in the second hour, and 1.59 million in the third hour. Those are the numbers, everybody. Now some of you can make your AEW comparisons. Go for it. I won't be doing that, if that's okay. I don't need to make any AEW comparisons. You can just compare Raw to what Raw has traditionally done in the past. All that information is right there. So AEW doesn't really factor into it at all. So I don't know why anybody would do that. The storytelling on Raw on Monday night stunk. There's no other way to say it. And they have not had many good weeks, I don't believe, in my opinion, as a fan just watching. So 
I may not be, I, I guess I'm not in the minority here. <laughs> so there's a lot of people who have, have turned off from it. And I'm not over 50 and I'm not a teenage boy. So I guess I'm, I'm out of that demographic. I'm not sure exactly what has moved them or has not moved them. But yes, you are correct to point out that yes, Alexa Bliss and, and Bray Wyatt and Magic has, has been a focal point of the show that has not been there now the last two weeks. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count, full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.